It's time for another wintry mix system. Hello, I'm meteorologist Brian Ivey. Certainly an active weather pattern. We're going to start with rain and generally warm temperatures that will be surging northward, but we do have a cold front that will be dropping on in during the course of the day today, dropping temperatures well into the 50s through the 40s into the 30s. And then here's the wintry mix precip starting back all the way in towards the desert southwest and portions of Oklahoma, Texas, and then moving up towards St. Louis, Illinois, Indiana. We're going to have that snow area on the northern half of the system up across Michigan. And then there'll be the mix area to the south. So there's the mix area spreading in across the Ohio Valley. This will be a little bit of ice and spots maybe decent icing for several hours. This all pushes off towards the northeast through the mid-Atlantic. There's your big snow zone possibility, and that could be a decent snow up into portions of New England as well. I wanted to draw your attention to where we do have the close difference in distance between where the icing area is, the wintry mix, and then the heavy snow zone across portions of Ohio. Now, what makes this icing? Let's delve into the technical details that us as meteorologists look at to determine the vertical profile of the atmosphere. This is known as a skew T diagram. So we have snowflakes up here. It's cold, snowing, falling, warm air. Where this juts out here to the right, that's where the temperatures and the dew point profile is. So it will be very moist, but that's going to be mild, and that'll melt everything. There's not a ton of time below freezing when it falls to the ground. So it falls to the ground as rain, but it is below freezing at the surface. It then turns to ice. We'll have a lot of lifting dynamics with this system. That'll be nice with the moisture to create some pretty decent amounts of precipitation. Let's continue on with the future cast and look at the rest of this system. Definitely um, an impressive amount of snow across portions of Ontario into Quebec and then up towards the northeast. Heavy rain, even some severe weather on the southern side of this system. We'll have some widespread cold air shift in, lake effect snow likely for the Great Lakes and then maybe even some upslope snow for the Green Mountain area. Then a couple of systems spit out of the Rockies. It will be a very active snowy pattern for the Rockies. Maybe a little rain for portions of the south. It'll be kind of this off and on time of some snow. Just some minor risks here and there, like little clippers, little troughs that will move through across portions of the northern U.S. and then the Rocky Mountains as well. Not super active going into portions early next week, but we will have the chance for another warm up and some rain out across portions of the east with overall more warmth than cold air. Now with this system coming up over the next few days, definitely a lot of variance with the snowfall maps. We do expect there's going to be a corridor of a few to several inches, maybe even a narrow corridor six to eight inches with this across portions of the Midwest up Michigan and into Canada. But some models do have a little bit less as well. And there's honestly models that have a foot of snow in spots. But there's still a difference in the track. So we're going to have to monitor kind of where things shift north and south to what the exact impacts will be. Good confidence on a lot of mountain snow across portions of the Cascades and much of the Rocky Mountains as well over the course of the next week. And then at least a few inches out in towards the Front Range and the Plains. Temperatures. Same old, same old, pretty much. Cold has been anchored across the west. That will generally continue with multiple waves coming through. Warmth across the east. There will be some cold shots, especially up into portions of the northeast. But then these red and orange colors come back and widespread warmth, especially way above average for the deep south. Off and on, that'll be the trend. And then, hey, more cold across the west. This is anchoring in through the middle portion of February. Will it change at all after that? I'll let you know I have a long range video forecast coming up in just a little bit on that. If you're a landscaper or snow or anything else that involves making decisions around the weather, please check us out to see how we can help you make better informed decisions and save time and money. It's all at neoweather.us.